These bricks are made from seaweed. The secret is sargassum, an invasive species washing up and rotting on beaches around North America. The massive waves can lead to respiratory problems and can cost millions to clean up. But where most people see a problem, Omar Vasquez saw potential. He turns the seaweed into bricks strong enough to build homes that he says can withstand hurricanes. Lo primero que pensé fue empezar a donar casas ya que mi madre, mis hermanos y yo nunca tuvimos un techo propio. Omar and his family immigrated to the U.S. with nothing in their pockets when he was just eight years old. Now, he uses his bricks to build homes for low-income families, like the Lopez's. Pues tenemos cada una nuestro cuarto. Y es algo bonito porque siempre desde chiquitas lo habíamos soñado. Could this invention help other countries clean up their coastlines? We went to Mexico to see how entrepreneurs like Omar are making the most out of a stinky situation. Omar and his team start collecting the seaweed at 5 a.m. Today, they're in Puerto Morelos, a small beach town about 25 miles from Cancun. When the llega todo el sargazo, lo primero que hizo la gente fue quejarse. Que huele mal, apesta, uh, tiene pulga, tiene todo. Hotels pay them to get the seaweed off the beach and out of the view of tourists. They collect about 40 metric tons of sargassum every day, enough to fill two of these containers. The idea to turn seaweed into bricks came to Omar in 2018, when more than 50,000 metric tons of sargassum overran the coast. Al principio fue hacerlo de manera manual y artesanal, como se hacía el adobe. La impresión de ellos es es no creer. Es como que cómo puede ser. Omar makes the bricks, which he calls sarga blocks, at his workshop, 10 minutes from the beach. Workers grind the dry sargassum into a fine powder by smashing it with rocks. Then they mix it with dirt, which Omar repurposes from construction sites. They shovel a mixture of sargassum dust and dirt through a grate to remove any large chunks. They mix the powder with water to form a thick paste. The exact recipe is a secret, but each brick is about 40% sargassum. Sargo blocks can also be recycled again and again. Se te rompe, lo vuelves a moler y lo vuelves a fabricar. With this single machine, Omar can make up to 3,000 bricks a day. He developed eight prototypes before perfecting this one. Now, he's designing a bigger machine that could produce 8,000 bricks a day. He has six full-time employees making the bricks, and some help build homes, too. So sí es difícil, pero pues ahora sí que hemos visto la cara de las personas cuando se han donado luego casas o cosas así y te llena, ¿no? Esa parte, este, se te olvida lo, lo otro. Since 2018, Omar has built more than 40 homes. The first one is right next to his workshop. He named it after his mother. Aquí estamos en Casa Angelita, la primera casa en el mundo hecha a base de sargazo. When he was eight years old, Omar left behind a home just like this one to cross the Mexico-U.S. border with his mother. Esta casa me recuerda mucho mi infancia, mi niñez, ya que es una réplica de la casa de mis abuelos. En este lado era una cocinita, me acuerdo perfectamente, una sala comedor que se me decía enorme y un baño. They wouldn't have a home of their own for the 30 years they lived in the U.S. El sueño americano es un sueño muy doloroso. Fue una vida complicada. Al, al vivir con una madre soltera, al, al no tener papá, al no tener un techo propio, uh, caer el tema de las adicciones, del alcohol, de la droga. Pero bueno, siempre tuve en mi mente y en mi corazón regresar a México. He finally returned to his home country for good in 2014 with just $55 in his pocket. He used it to start a business buying and selling plants. And he eventually saved enough money to buy this lot. Pues es que estando aquí, estoy en mi casa, no tengo miedo a nada. Developing Sarga blocks required a lot of trial and error. Pues mira, tengo en la mano el primer molde que utilizamos para los primeros adobes de, de sargazo. Omar's business is called Vivero Blue Green. He makes most of his money selling plants and from hotels paying him to clean up the sargassum. He also sells his bricks and builds houses. He has sold more than 20 homes and given away another 15. 
Omar admits the houses may not be fancy, but they are durable. Casa Angelita lleva cuatro años. Y la pueden ver, hemos tenido huracanes, tormentas tropicales, hasta la intemperie, y no ha pasado absolutamente nada. That's good news for Elizabeth del Carmen Bonola Lopez and her daughters. Their home was destroyed in a hurricane in 2021. Omar helped them rebuild it with Saga blocks. Una palapa que se me estaba cayendo, que no tenía yo nada. Pues es una casa de Saga Block, que nos sentimos seguras. Mis hijas y yo contentas, felices. No huele mal, no trae bichitos. Pues es más cómoda que cualquier casa, porque se ajusta al calor y al frío. Indeed, research shows that seaweed is a great insulator that keeps homes cool in the summer and stores heat in the winter. Usually, Omar hears about people in need through a friend or a local. Ah, pero ver la cara de las familias felices, híjole, eso sí no tiene precio. And there's no lack of raw material. Over the past decade, waves of sargassum have gotten so large you can detect them from space. In 2020, the Mexican government collected 19,000 metric tons of sargassum from Quintana Roo's beaches. In 2021, it collected twice that amount. Antes eran tres meses por año que se empezó a ver el sargazo, cuatro meses, y ahorita hemos visto temporadas que hasta nueve meses nos ha llegado al alga. Studies show prolonged exposure can make it hard to breathe. In 2023, the Cancun Hotel Association set aside more than $20 million to remove it from beaches. And the problem goes beyond Mexico. The invasive weed has spread to shores across North America, in Florida, Texas, and other parts of the Caribbean. The exact cause of the increase isn't clear, but some experts blame high levels of nitrogen in the sea, a result of agricultural waste runoff and deforestation. So now, Omar's business is getting international attention. He's given TED Talks, appeared on Shark Tank Mexico, and traveled internationally to promote his product. Investors and businesses from over a dozen countries have reached out to learn from him. Estados Unidos, a Belice, a Dominicana, a Barbados, Martinica. Omar is exploring licensing and franchising the Sarka Block recipe to other businesses. Elsewhere in Mexico, other entrepreneurs are experimenting with new ways to use sargassum, like making notebooks and even shoes. A British startup called Seaweed Generation is using sargassum to capture carbon and store it at the bottom of the ocean. Back in Mexico, Omar is simply grateful to be living in his home country, surrounded by the people he loves. And after work, he returns to a home he built himself using his own bricks. Omar hopes his success will inspire others. Así es que los mexicanos volteemos a ver hacia nuestro país. Que volteemos a ver que también hay oportunidades. Si yo puedo, ustedes pueden hacerlo.